Let's take a look at the editing tools available in Moodle. Our first step is always to turn editing on, which we can do in the upper right by clicking the Turn Editing On button. Once we've done that, we see a number of things that are now not completely visible, but are on the screen that weren't there before. Let's start with the Add an Activity or Resource menu. This shows up below each section in your Moodle class. So if you have 10 weeks, it'll be, uh, you'll see it 11 times because it'll also be in week zero. And this is the primary way that you add any activities or resources to Moodle. The exception is if you want to drag uh, files in from your computer or other device and drop them into your class, you can do, that's another way you can add things. So let's take a look at that uh, menu and how that works. So if I click on it, I get a list on the left of all the activities that are available to me as well as all the resources. And I can choose one by selecting or clicking on the uh, radio button there. And then on the right side, I see the help information uh, for that uh, activity or resource. It gives me an idea of what, what can be done with it. Uh, the main distinction between activities and resources to me is that activities can be graded in most cases, although not all. Uh, and resources are things that primarily things that students look at or read or or view um, but there are also uh, exceptions there so let's uh, cancel out of that uh, any item that's already in the class gives us some other editing tools uh, first on the left we have the move tool which lets us move this item to a different place in the class by clicking, holding, and dragging, and then dropping it. Uh, we can also change the name of the item by clicking the edit title icon, which is located just to the right of the item. And so we could uh, change the name of this by typing in a new name and pushing the return key to save the change. Further over to the right we have the edit menu for that item and if we click on that menu we'll see all of our options. Edit settings where most things are changed we can move it to the right uh, to indent it or move it to the left. Once we've moved it to the right we'll also see the move left option. We can hide that item uh, once it's hidden we'll see the show option in the menu. And then we can duplicate an item, uh, assign roles if we're using groups, and we can delete an item right there. Most of the activity that you'll do there will be the edit settings in order to set things up or modify instructions or set number of points or things like that. So another editing uh, tool that we have is we can edit the summary for each week in the class or each section and the summary is located under the the date or in this case in for week zero it's just located at the top this little gear if we click on that we get access to the summary and that's where I have put in the information the title for this uh, for this class and if I save it I'll see that that has been updated there uh, okay, and then uh, one other thing we can do is we can hide parts of the class. We can't hide week zero, but we can hide week one, week two, so on. Uh, and then we can make them visible through this uh, show hide icon, which is on the uh, right side of each section. And then the last thing that's available is we can reorder uh, parts of the class by uh, dragging the sections, and then they will be uh, reordered the dates will change but if there was any content in there so if I had content here and I drag this down we'll see that now whoops didn't drop it right there we go so now it's in the second week rather than in the first week so if I move that back up that whole week and drop it now the date has has been updated automatically uh, and I can put this back up in week zero so that's a brief look at the editing tools in Moodle